did three nights in St. Paolo. That's right, you played the right. stadium, but that yeah. was the second time you played. Yeah. You remember the very first, first one time you played? That was incredible. It was the right. final gig of your... The tour. final gig That's of the it. Injustice for All. That's right. right. Oh, that was okay. And remember, I was uh, the last night I was singing. You changed. That's right, you changed. I have a picture, <laughs> have a picture in my office of uh, James playing drums and me doing my Bruce Dickinson impression. <laughs> and also, I remember... I just remember things like um, one night the first Brazilian tour we played Frisbee for about six hours on the beach. I we took a couple months off after the release of Reload and then uh, started up Pacific Rim, did Australia, New Zealand, Korea, Korea for the first time, and Japanese shows, cool. And then a few weeks in between for the Headfields to have Baby. And then uh, now we're starting up here in the States, you know. usually see, I mean, members of the band sort of guest playing in other people's sort of records mm, well, and this kind of thing. So, sometimes, <laughs> is it something that you sort of disarrange? I think we're yourselves? trying to be more open to it. I think that we kind of are realizing now as, as we get older and try and find ways to sustain Metallica for another couple of decades, we realize that we all have needs that go way beyond Metallica and I think that we used to be very proud of the fact in the early days that it was Metallica and there was nothing else. We still won't let ourselves uh, or very rarely and be involved in like you know soundtrack things or k -Tel's greatest hits. So re remixes, DJ Spooky, Moby. That was like exploration type yeah. of things. Yeah. I think it's, it's also um, I think it's also possible to have neutral opinions about. I don't. These remixes don't mean that much to me. Você ficou sabendo ontem, em primeira mão, aqui no MTV no ar, o grupo pretende tocar no Brasil em maio do ano que vem. Vamos ver. Faltam menos de 48, vai ser com certeza a apresentação ao vivo do Sepultura. Além de ser a primeira performance na TV com a nova formação, o Sepultura vai receber dois convidados muito especiais. O líder do Motorhead, Lemmy, e o baixista do Metallica, Jason Newstead. O Fábio Massari conversou com o Metallica e descobriu que a parceria não para no Video Music Brasil. A Jump deve rolar também no show beneficente Barulho contra a Fome, que acontece no dia 15 de agosto em São Paulo. Brasil! Brasil! Brasil. Brasil. Tell me why you've chosen me. There are rumors that you're about to go to Brazil, Sepultura. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple of things with us. Yeah. All right, we'll be waiting for you down there. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you.